Okay, uh, morning guys. Uh, we're, today's gonna be a Saturday session. We're gonna go over uh, a couple of things that uh, uh, people continue to ask over this week. We continue to wanna go over the lotto, the end of day lotto. And uh, we're gonna go over a brief breakdown of the EMAs and um, some things that I've, I've found um, really helpful, right? with these EMAs, something that I found, uh, something that I found that will um, probably help you uh, broaden your uh, knowledge and uh, perspective on the EMAs and how we continue to use them. Um, Dima, are you, are, are you there, Dima? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, so did you see the trade that, was it, was it the, um, the trade that you wanted to go over? I mean, there's not specific a trade, but uh, the specific I was trying to ask is about uh, confirmation. Like how do you, uh, yeah, if you have any examples, I mean, on uh, how you execute them and uh, what type of confirmation you're waiting on. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this one as the example right here. Sure, yeah. We can we can use this one as the example, right? And then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll read it out and then we can go on the charts and then break it down. And then uh, if anybody has questions, we can go ahead and uh, lay out the questions at the end after everything is broken down. Okay, so basically this was uh, on uh, 1924. So this is a quick uh, trade uh, recap. Uh, not the best, but uh, these are the type of trades we take consistently on a daily basis. I walked everyone through this trade. This, uh, the whole team held each other accountable throughout uh, the trade. Uh, this was a nice scalp and it gives you guys an idea of a 45 minute to 50 minute scalp. Uh, this is from entry to exit, um, all the way to the last runner. Um, basically I started this position because of the nine EMA. I see all, I seen all confluencing factors for it to explode up. Um, you know, ticks were maxed out. Uh, MACD was bullish, uh, price action and volume. When I always talk about this, when um, when the level breaks, right? When the level breaks a zone and the volume is there, that means they're legitly, legitimately breaking the zone. So keep keep that in mind in the back back of your mind, right? And uh, that was enough uh, for me to enter and manage my risk, right? Anytime we're getting into the position, we always talk about this. Always manage your risk. Uh, me personally, I don't put a physical stop loss until I take my initial TPs, but uh, I don't recommend that, right? That's uh, That comes with experience and, uh, you know, and it's a pilot position. I always keep in mind, you know, I'm not going to go into, into detail about my strategy, but the ones that know, they understand how my strategy works. Okay, so, um, you know, uh, it was enough for me to enter with always and only a mental stop loss until I hit my first TP. <clears throat> this is very difficult now for the faint of heart. We, I don't recommend to use a uh, mental stop loss without experience. <clears throat> you have to develop this skill just like anything else in life, right? Um, this doesn't just come, there's no way that you're gonna read about this. There's no way that you can watch something and learn this. This comes from screen time and this just comes from experience. This, that's the best way I can, I can break that, that, that part down, right? Uh, nothing comes easy and nothing comes without work. Uh, this is why I spend these, these hours with you guys with this screen time so you guys can understand more or less what's going through my mind when I'm, when I'm taking these trades. Uh, now with that in mind, I guided the uh, the whole team through this using the levels, EMAs, view app, and uh, more uh, view app uh, more or less as a mental stop loss. I always tell you guys about the view app. No uh, no puts unless we're below the view app, and no calls unless we're above the view app. I tell you guys all the time. <clears throat> okay, um, took first TPs. Uh, after I took my first TP. The meat and potatoes. I always manage, uh, minimize my risk, right? Uh, after the first TP, I, I take out a nice chunk of the position, right? Depending how how quick we, how click how quickly we got to that level, and how hard we're rejecting from that level, right? That goes more into the trade detail and setup. I'm not going into that. Just doing a trade trade recap and trying to help uh, Dima understand entry points and exits. <laughs> 
Now at their first TP, I set a physical stop loss. I set a stop loss at $10 above my entry. When I say that, right, I'm saying that because um, after I take, after money's in the bank, right, now we're playing on house money, right? And just because we're playing on house money does not mean that we want to give up what, what we've already gained, right? So we're going to put a stop loss above our entry. So no matter what, even if this trade goes against us, we're exiting in profit, no matter what now. <clears throat> um, using the nine EMA as a trend indicator, then uh, taking and cherry picking profits along the way as I manage my position. As we start to approach the pre-market's highs, I sell to uh, minimize I maximize my gain and minimize my risk. Yes, I left a lot on the table, but at the same time, I exited for, for more than a 300% gain. We, uh, we do this back to back every day. Uh, watch the tape, obviously we did it live on YouTube. We, if anybody wanna watch, uh, you know, we did it as a team. Um, There's multiple team members that were holding this trade. Uh, some held longer, but uh, most of us got in. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this trade as far as orders, right? <clears throat> so entered the trade at um, 10, 10, the break of the five minute candle, right? Exactly at 10, 10. looks like it took about six seconds for them to execute my order, right? Um, entered at $2.45, right? $200. Minimize my risk, took my initial profits at um, 375. That's uh, that's already money in the bank right there. Do the math, right? Um, and eventually uh, taking the last TP at 1055 on the five minute candle, right? For uh, $6.30. So that's initially, we'll say, 200, th no, 300% or something, more or less. I don't, I don't know. I'm not good on the, that type of math. But that kind of gives you uh, an idea, right? It wasn't the greatest trade. Like I said, we left not a lot on the table. But we're going to break this down on the charts now. So basically, uh, this is a quick, quick breakdown before we go deep into the chart. <clears throat> this is uh, the five-minute chart we have on the left. And this is the... Um, this is the uh, one minute chart on the right. So for you guys to get the maximum exposure of this, I'm going to have to open this up real quick. Give me one second. I don't know why I just wanna, does not wanna open, huh? Hmm. Looks like Discord is having issues. Yeah, it's not me, right? It's Discord? No, yeah. Oh, okay. So let me see if I can do this real quick. It's going to even let me save. Man, Discord wants to have issues, right? When we want to do something, right? Okay, we can just do it like this. We'll, we'll uh, let me pull up a chart. Let me pull up a chart. Okay, I got the chart here. Let's go five minutes. So the, uh, while I'm p look, uh, pick, grabbing the chart, you guys go ahead and take a look at this, right? Uh, take a look at uh, what you guys can see here. And uh, while you're looking at it, and I'm getting, oh, shoot. While I'm getting it ready, uh, you guys can. I'm trying to find it on the chart. Sorry, guys. What day was that? You guys remember what day was that? It's one nine. Yeah, one nine. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Got it. Thank you. Beautiful. Okay, so here we go. So off the five minute chart. This is a five minute chart right here. Uh, caught an entry off the nine EMA. Right. We talk about the nine EMA all the time. Um, it wasn't just because of the nine. There was multiple reasons why I entered here. Uh, a lot of confluencing factors. Um. If you if you break it down on the micro, it was the first clean break of 47240 zone. If you if you look at the timestamp, exit uh, entered exactly on the five minute candle and the first 
one minute close of the BJ key level, right? Um, go back to here. So um, 10, 10, right? 10, 10, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, we're looking at the chart now. So 10, 10, right? So that's, we entered at 10, 10. And my confirmation was at that time, <clears throat> you're, 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 you're asking about confirmation, right, Dima? What was my yeah, Yes, yes. Enter. Yes. There was multiple, multiple, multiple reasons for me to enter that trade, right? Let me get up the charts. I hate that Discord is doing this right now. So let's uh, change it to the... Let's have the one, the micro and the, um, the micro and the five minute side by side. So you can see all the confirmations that we waited for this, uh, for this to enter this trade. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Side by side, one minute, five minute, you use the five minute for, um, to take my trades, use the one minute for uh, direction, algos, and structure. Um, and basically, the type of confirmations uh, we wait for is different, right? It's a uh, there's they're all the same, but there's different combinations, right? Different combinations of how you can create, um, how you can create a. Uh, Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. Man, stumbling to, through these charts. Okay. <clears throat> Man. Okay. Oh, shitty. So, let me see. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's all good. Yeah. Where is this? Okay, here we go. This is the ninth, right? All right. Boom. Okay. Finally. Let me do the ninth over here. There we go. Bam. <laughs> so timestamps is very important. Um, back to okay, so ten ten, right? Ten ten, yeah, yeah. That's the entry, right? On the one minute, right? And then uh, on the five minute. Ten, 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 ten. Brr. All right. Four seventy two. No, I'm looking at the wrong chart, bro. Let me see. No, I I think isn't the timestamps are Central Time your time? So oh, it, it is. That's why. That's why Central Time. Sorry. Yeah. So it'd be Los Angeles, or what time would I put? No, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Chicago. 
Okay, no wonder I'm having a hard time here. Yeah, the one minute chart I think is right, but in uh, five minutes uh, it's uh correct. Okay, okay. changed the uh, Chicago. Ten ten. Oh, okay, got it. Ten ten. I think you did enter like after that engulfing candle, then uh, there's do those two do dojis. Let's see, 42, 29, 42. Right there when it touched. Uh... Yes, somewhere over there it is. 10, 10, right here. Boom. Yeah, yep. Okay, so let's go over this. Everything from the entry, because I want you guys to understand the entry. <clears throat> Okay, so what happens is uh, the nine EMA, right? I tell you guys all the time, uh, when the nine and MACD is in confluence, the nine is always gonna push up, right? We talk about that all the time, right guys? Yes, yes. Yep. So if you look right here at 1010, right? The MACD is bullish, right? It's still pushing up in bull territory, right guys? And yeah. then um, you look at the nine, it, it tested the nine. Every time it came and tested the nine, it pushed up, right? There could have been a chance that it was gonna break, right? There could have been a chance that it was gonna break, but that's why um, you use price action and you gauge everything else, right? So we seen it, it pushed down and then it pushed up, right? So yeah. um, now we're in and now we're using the not, the nine EMA more or less as a mental stop loss, right? So if we, we, we come here, there's another confluencing factor of why I entered, right? So here exactly at 1010, we broke this uh, 40, 472, uh, 33, right? 472, uh, 33 zone, BJ zone. Yes, yes, we yes. broke it. So that's a confirmation for me to get in. Now when I'm getting in here, I'm looking at something like this now, right? I'm going to be, since I got in here, I'm going to be using this BJQ level under me as a stop loss, right? That's that's what I'm thinking this whole time, right? So, boom, it goes up, pushes up, right? Confluencing factor, 9 EMA, Mac, uh, 9 EMA, MACD is bullish. Uh, first break above, uh, clean break above the 42, 472.28, entering with the stop loss, of the next BJ key level, I need a I need a clean break above this uh, key level, right? And we're it's a two to one, right? We're going for two to one, right? So um, I need a break of this level right here, this, this key level when I'm getting in. So this is what I'm thinking when I'm entering. Uh, I have uh, my first exit, my first TP. This is my first TP. This this BJ key level, uh, forty two. 47290 zone is the first level I'm looking to take some, some TPs. And my exit is um, and when the trade goes against me, if it breaks the 472. Um, I'm also uh, relying on the 920 and VWAP as a mental stop loss as well, and a, train, uh, a, a trend indicator. But when I'm looking at this trade and I'm entering the trade here, the 90 EMA continues to push up, right? If the 90 EMA was starting to winder and point down, I'd feel different about this position, right? Same thing with the MACD. The MACD kind of uh, plateaued a little bit here and then it pushed up, right? So let's see when we took our uh, our first TP. Let's see when we took our first uh, initial TP on this, on this trade. Uh, give me one second, guys. When do we take the initial TP on this trade? The initial TP was taken on this trade. <clears throat> it was at 1017, right? So let's see what happens at 1017. So let me go ahead and get out the, this guy. So 1017. Ten seventeen is the key level, the first TP, right? Exactly at ten seventeen is this candle right here. You guys see that? Yeah. Exactly this it. candle. This is ten seventeen, and then let's see where ten seven ten seventeen on uh, on the five minute is. So this is ten seventeen. <clears throat> so initial trade. Boom, break. Of, uh, break of um, zone, 
and uh, a touch of the next zone. So that's meat and potatoes there. So now um, I'm entering this, um, uh, since I took uh, my initial P T piece, I'm putting a physical stop loss now. And my physical stop loss is now, is gonna be a break of this zone, right? I know they'll come back and they're gonna test. So I'm gonna, now I took the, the meat and potatoes out, right? Let's look at the trade. Took the meat and potatoes out, right? Five contracts. So by me taking these meat and potatoes out, th these last five contracts are free, guys. You understand that? These are free. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not free, but like, I just can't let them go against me, you know? And I just have to manage it now. I already have money in the pocket now with, 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 with these five. Does that make sense? Money yes, in the pocket yes. now. So now we just manage, right? So uh, we'll say the next TP is around uh, 1025, right? More or less, we'll say 1025. <clears throat> so this trade starts to go against us. So uh, let's watch. And then remember, I'm, uh, when I'm using stop losses, I'm using the five minute, right? I'm not gonna let one minute, uh, two minute candle or something like that stop me out of the trade. I need an actual uh, legit five minute candle close. I need some volume and stuff like that. So the trade starts to go against us a little bit here. Never breaks the zone. Right, where's 1025? Oh no, 1025. Oh wait, where's the next TPS? Sorry, let's start. Ten fifty-five. So uh, initially, we, I mean, uh, at the end, we end up exiting at ten fifty-five. Let's see, where's ten fifty-five? Right there, 10.55. Makes no sense, hold on. No. Something's wrong here. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, the chance is not right or something. Yeah, okay, so right here. That's the one. That's the correct That's the one, one right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Sorry. So, what happens is, where is it? We initially take profits. Uh, the last TP was right here. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. um, this was the last TP. So yeah. initially. Like I was saying, we we're approaching. I was keeping in mind that uh, we had uh, HOD and pre-market high above us, right? I was keeping that in mind, and I was expecting a, a big, big rejection off the that um, that pre-market high, right? So when um, I exited here, I exited sa safely, managing my position. I did leave some on the table, obviously, right? maybe another 50%, you know, but it's, uh, we took the last runner out here for, you know, about a 300% gain, called it a day and, uh, you know, exited at the next level. If you, if you look at the timestamps, everything's from level to level, right? Everything's taking profits at levels, exiting at levels. Um, that's very, uh, very important, you know, confirmation, uh, volume. Let's go back to, this confirmation in the volume of how it broke that level, right? So, as you see, when it broke it, it broke it with some good volume, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about this 472.33 level, right? It broke it with volume. Yes, the next candle was red, but you can see the continuous volume. Let's see what the volume on the five minute looked like at that time. Yeah, the volume up the nine was green. I'm sure if we looked at the ticks, the ticks were probably maxed out. There's a lot of confluencing factors when I entered this trade. Um, you know, it is kind of dangerous. Um, would it have been uh, better if you entered on this one? Definitely, 
100%, but I felt I felt good with it, knowing that I had a, uh, some pillow right here, some stop loss, knowing that I have the 9, 20, and view app as, a, as, a, as backup, knowing that I have uh, cloud orders in front of us. Um, I just felt decent about it. I'm sure if we looked at other indicators as um, NQ, ES, and everybody else, I bet you everybody was bullish, Apple, and all that. Um, is there anything else you wanted to ask about this trade, Dima? Um, no, no, that's all that's so good, yeah. That's it? That's what you wanted to, to understand? Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. it was just, a, it was a break above the um, the, the BJQ level and then uh, took profits at the next level and uh, used the BJQ level or supply or demand or uh, fair value gap below us where we entered the gap below us as a mental stop loss. We're willing to, um, you know, let the trade go a little bit against us, not too much, but uh, uh, Jeremy, uh, go ahead. Question, uh, quick, you mentioned uh, before, like with the nine, um, when that's out to curl, you know, you, you know, watch it, and um, yeah. But also, does that depend on like when the one minute candle closes, like if it stops to no. curl, but no, 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 no. So, no. So, so, okay. so, 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 uh, when I'm talking about EMAs, it has nothing to do with the one minute. One minute's just for structure. Okay. One minute's for algo. One minute's for volume. One well, one minute's for price action. I don't base my trades off of the yeah, one yeah. minute. I use it as well, entry and exit points, like a kind of like how it's like a sniper. I'm nice. basing, all my trades are based off the five minute chart. The five minute the chart. The nine uh, and yeah, just irrelevant from the. That's it. Yeah, but you got to remember time, the, time. Uh, the indicators are lagging, right? So I use the lagging indicators with the uh, oh, yeah. real time Thanks. one minute. I don't know if that makes Thanks. sense. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. A lot of sense. Thanks. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can go over the lotto. I know Alex had questions on the lotto. Let's see. Let me see one second. Did anyone take Josh's class in the lotto? Just kidding. So, uh, <laughs> no mention. So, lotto, lotto, okay. Lotto breakdown. Which lotto should we break down? Which one? We'll break down the one from, um, let's see. Which lotto do we get? Which one was a good lotto? Uh, Thursday was a good lotto, no? Let me see. I don't even remember, man. We had so many good trades. Which lotto did we get? That was a good, that was a good one. Uh, I see. Uh, one eleven. The post from one eleven that you have latest post. Okay, let's let's break one down and then I'll bring up the option chart and just kind of kind of go over it a little bit. But let's see let's see if I can pull up the some strike prices. They didn't let me do it last time because it was uh, a day late, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> let's see option. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oops, ouch, sorry. No, it's not that great. Let me see if I can find a better one. I'm trying to, I'm looking at the option block to see if, where we had some nice little pushes, but everything's looking. Uh, what did you guys want to know about the, uh, mainly about the, um, the lotto as so, far as how we're picking the strike price or uh what what is the criteria to find one or like what am i yeah. looking for one, one uh criteria you mentioned a little bit was um i like the pad on the day if we get like a, a long trend which, which um kind of way it would set up that it would be more likely if, like a gap hasn't filled or um 
it hasn't retraced or, or something like that? Um, I wouldn't, I, uh, me personally, I would not uh, try to concentrate and try to, um, try, yeah, to catch those. That yeah, try to catch those. What I would, what I would concentrate more on is, uh, let me see, 10, 11, okay. okay. Yeah, we get this strategy alignment of indicators from. So it's 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 basically um, you're just trying to find a quick opportunity, right? A very 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 quick place where you can where you can scalp something real quick, and you can if essentially at minimum at minimum double double your price. I mean, double what your initial investment is. But it's uh, there's gains of up to six hundred to you know we've seen a thousand percent gains, right? And it comes to risk management. And there's going to be a, a few things that I'm going to I'm going to let you guys know that are vital, very, 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 very vital as far as the lottos, right? There's uh, three or four things that are that is is a must for these lottos to work. Number one, uh, it has to be zero DTE. It has to be at least a minimum of uh, one hour to forty five minutes until close, right? One hour to and forty five minutes until close, which is uh, for a lot of people is called the power hour. Um, and uh, very very important on the strike price, you do not do not want to buy anything under fifty cents, right? SPX. If you, because what I've seen from my data, this is from my data, my data alone. I'm not claiming anything or anything like that. From my data alone, I've seen eighty percent of the time. If you're buying a contract and it goes under 50 cents in the power hour, it's more than likely going to go to zero. 80% of the time, what I've seen. So my sweet spot for the contracts, right? Now I'm not even looking at strike prices, right? I'm, only, I'm looking at pricing, right? And what I've found for the lotto, the sweet spot is anywhere between 70 to $1.20, right? Uh, 90 cents is like my sweet one. I like I like to find one one that's like right at 90 cents. But um, what I, what I'll essentially do is in that bubble between 60 to dollar 20, 70 to dollar 20, something like that. Uh, I don't want it to over exceed a dollar 50 because that's that's putting too much risk now, and I'm not I don't want to risk that much on a lotto, right? Essentially, you want to stay about a dollar under a dollar for a, a lotto, right? Is that for SPY or SPX? SPX. SPX. If you want to get these explosive moves on the lotto, you're going to have to do SPX. Yeah, and it's a lotto. And uh, like I've explained to you guys plenty of times, uh, this is a lotto. you got to go into it and in the back of your mind like you're going to lose it, right? Like this is gone, right? And um, what I usually do is I'll pick two strike prices. I'll get the long position and short, short, uh, short position. Let me see if I can show you guys here. Okay. Last time I shared some of my private information and people went crazy and tried to critique me and say that I was a fraud and a fake, but let me try to hide this. Oh, shoot. Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so. This is uh, Active Trader. I'm not going to go into detail. A lot of you guys know what it is. This is, uh, I can't trade without this. This is what helps me. This is my bread and butter. This is uh, technical analysis, Active Trader, <laughs> uh, discipline, and trading psychology <laughs> is the mandos for, for you to excel in this game. Right? So... <clears throat> Basically, um, I'm using this chart right here. This chart right here is, is vital for lottos, right? This is the option price, right? So, for example, you, you've seen this, this contract dip all the way to $6. Yeah, this is a bad example. Let me try to find some good, good strike prices. 
I did all the old strike prices, so it's gonna be hard. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into detail what I'm doing here. You guys know. <clears throat> You're just picking options, it's nothing. I wasn't doing anything crazy. Okay, so this is a, a decent example, right? A decent example. These are uh, the next day, so the price is going to be a little crazy. But this is a beautiful example, actually. So initially, you can get these contracts here, right? For $9, right? $9, $900. But these strike prices are a little more expensive because it's uh, the next day. So uh, if you're looking for the day of these would probably be about a dollar, right? We'd say about a dollar 90 cents. And these things run up to $15 within a s small, uh, short time span of five to 15 minutes, right? Um, and uh, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for quick explosive moves, right? And a lot of time, a lot of times is, is it's, it's against the direction that it's already going, right? So for example, uh, the direction here is it's it's dumping, right? This is the option price. This is not a um, price action or anything. You can see that the premium and the price is dumping hard, right? So uh, one way that I've I understand and uh, came to understand is anytime you have a change of direction and it's hard, like a V-shaped recovery or anything like that, the premiums spike both for you and against you. So if you're in a, for example, if you're in this position and you're in a, you're uh, holding this and it, the trade started going against you, look how hard it spiked, right? And then look how hard it spiked when it changed direction. So initially um, we're looking for a change of direction or we're looking for a continuance. For this day, it was a continuance and you can see that uh, you know these these contracts peaked at uh, almost sixteen dollars, and it came back to uh, the entry nine dollars, right? So uh, take the time to look at these prices, right? Look where the price plateaus, you know. Find places where the pli uh, price uh, plateaus, and um, you know uh, another thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about is the risk management and why. Um, if you can execute and understand these lottos of how 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 powerful they are and how much, um, you know. So basically, if you really wanted to this, and I'm not recommending this, you can buy both sides, right? So initially, you're going in with uh, with the $200 risk, right? And uh, even if uh, you know one goes in your favor, you you recop that uh, initial and um plus some but i don't recommend doing that um i just recommend just waiting waiting for a uh, break of structure waiting for change of direction just waiting for uh indications of um to take a trade uh there's no actual like uh setup or there's no actual like oh we have to wait for this for this to this to happen to take the trade no there there isn't it's um it's the same thing. It's the same technicals. We're using price action. We're waiting. We're waiting for confirmation. Uh, you know, we're using EMAs and we're using levels. There's no actual um, fancy setup for a lotto. Uh, the main thing with lotto is is the risk management and understanding the price movement of the option contract that you're in and understanding, um, you know, when to take your profits, good areas to take your profits. And, uh, you know, I've been able to do it day in and day out with the team here. We've been able to catch lottos day after day after day, very minimal risk with explosive gains, you know? Um, of course, uh, like anything at all, all, everything takes uh, time and experience. And um, that's why I'm here to kind of just uh, help you guys and walk you guys through that. Um, and thanks. If there's and a balance many... of taking taking profits because they they go back down against you, the profits come and go. And then if you can, it, it, you have one 
like say I have two lotto on the same strike and then one you take profits and then one might keep going running, but you, you got to be careful. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to go into detail about sizing and how many and all that, you know, um, right now we're just trying to focus on execution and understanding what we're looking for, understanding uh, where to take our profits in the charts and just being uh, patient and disciplined. Um, you know, you guys, uh, you guys see how we entered this, uh, this new year. And we just want to continue to do that. We want to trade smart with discipline. Uh, we're waiting for our setups, waiting for confirmations, waiting for break of structure, um, letting the trade play out. Just, um, just real basic, basic fundamentals that uh, we'll continue to build off of. Um, and uh, go, if there's any questions, we can go ahead and start um, ask, uh, asking any questions here. If not, um, if there's anything you guys want to talk about or bring up, then we can talk about it now because uh, that's about it as far as on the on the lotto. The lotto is just, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it has a lot to do with risk management and, you know, picking those contract sizes and just um, being ready, being ready for that opportunity and understanding the charts. And uh, you guys see it. You go. We do it all the time, guys. Um. I have a question. Okay, Alex. Um, so basically you buy in the same direction that um, you want to get in, right? Um, like, for example, if it's going up, uh, you want to buy a call and then you you want to buy as it starts going up. Yeah, 100%. Okay. 100%. I don't want to be first. That's one of the things I tell you guys every day. Let's wait, 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 wait. We don't want to be first. Let them go first. We're not going to catch the initial like 510. We're not going to be the ticket to Hollywood where, oh, we, we got first. But we're going to be safe and we're going to we're going to be wait for confirmation. Yeah, we missed the 510 percent, but our ours is going to be always good because we're waiting, you know. Uh, I see. And also the target where you take profit, uh, how do you decide that? Okay, so um, everything comes back down to our basics, how we trade every day. We use, we're using, um, we're using our levels. We're using major zones, pre-market highs, pre-market lows. We're using BJ key levels. Uh, we're never exiting a trade in the middle of the zone. We're, we're, uh, before we exit or enter a trade, we're, we're waiting for a zone to be broken. So, for example, let's see this last, uh, what was it, the 11? What was that thing, the 11? Let's just go back and look at the 11 real quick. Yeah, well, you're setting it up, I mentioned, uh, yeah, you can have, like the, like you said, the, the TP already set, but at the same time, have your finger on the trigger for, like, a, a market sell. Yes, sir, 100%. Have have percent. That's what I do. As you can. Thanks. Okay, so here, this is, oh, wow. Sorry. 11, okay. Got it. Let's see. Let's look at the 11 real quick where we took the TPs and how we did that. Because we did that one as a team, right? I think so, right? Or no? I'm pretty sure we took that lotto as a team, that one. The 11th. Okay. Oh, okay. So the 11th, what was that, a short or a long position? You guys remember on the eleventh, what, what was it, the lotto? Long, long, long. Yesterday. Okay. okay, long. So let's see. What time was it at? Let's see. It's like one o'clock your time, I think. Yeah, let's see. Right at power hour, huh? It was a long or a short? I forgot what you guys said. On your left, I thought you uh, posted oh, it on. Short. It was a short. Sorry. Yeah, at the end, it was a short. Sorry. Sure. So I don't even know. 
But, okay, we'll use this as an example right here at the end. So uh, we would take it from level to level. We've seen that it came here to the um, to the high, and it started to taper, right? And um, we've seen that uh, this candle right here rejected, and then we had a clean break. And that was our entry right there, uh, the clean break. And then we took it. We took it to the next level, right? And just like that, from there to there, you you can grab an easy 300% move. From there to there, and that's that was the the lotto, right? And then, uh, of course, there was some left on the table. Oh, actually, no, that would have been the best one move right there. Boom, right there to 475.50. That move right there alone, you can, <laughs> you know, and there's, uh, it's, it's the same thing that we do. Is everything's based off technical analysis. We're using, um, you know, we're using uh, levels. We're using uh, price action, and we're using volume to gauge our entries and our exits. And we're waiting for levels to break for confirmation. So. This trade initially, you, we would be watching this here. We can see that it's starting to exhaust here. Um, Dima would probably call this inverted hammer, or like he always does. And then uh, this doji would just show even more uh, signs of squeeze. And then the squeeze down right there. And then this would be the confirmation to enter, the follow through of the squeeze. I know you're not catching it right at the top here, but at least you're catching it here and you're catching the rest of this move. At least. At the very least, right, for at least, if you say you get it from here to here, at the very least at this level right here, or even <clears throat> the very least to the cloud, right, <clears throat> that would at least potentially be up to 100% move. 100% move. And it's the same. Uh, like I said, Alex, it's the same same way we take our, our, our normal trades off of based off of price action, volume, uh, key levels, uh, structure, uh, no calls, uh, below the VWAP, no puts above the VWAP, um, just the basic, 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 nothing, nothing has changed, it's, uh, everything's the same, all the trades from morning to end, it's just that um, at the end, it's just a little bit quicker, you have to manage a little, a uh, little better, and uh, we're just trying to cherry pick some profits real quick, that's it. Is uh is that it? Any more? Any more? Any other questions? No, no. That um, th this was awesome. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Thanks. that was that was a great one. Yes. Thank you. Anything? Is there anything else anybody wants to bring up, or is that is that uh, is that it for today, guys? I was thinking maybe uh, you know, since it's um, uh, Monday is a holiday and the market's not uh. Not open. Maybe we can set a time and then we can just kind of do a quick breakdown review of a couple of things. So one more thing I was going to ask, maybe we can discuss it next time. Uh, is okay. A lot of we know how we take how we take uh, the strikes. Uh, how would, so there's a one nine trade. How did you pick SPX strike prices? So on on one nine. Yeah. I just want to see real quick. Hold on. I just we'll take a quick look at it one night. So higher amount. Okay, so this one that was I don't know if you guys remember when I talked about that one. I said, Oh man, this looks super good. There was a lot of things that went into this trade. I remember that one. I remember that one. Yeah. Um that was a big trade. That was a big one for me. Yeah. Uh, a little bit bigger than usual on uh on Lotto, but um there was a reason. There was a reason behind that, and maybe we will break that down on Monday. We can that. That's one of the ones we can break down. I'll I'll try to have everything more set up in the materials, uh, better better ready to go, and hopefully that um, uh, Discord is not acting acting up on us again. But yeah, uh, it's basically general non lotto how to pick. Uh, how to pick? Okay, we can go. Uh, that will be the topic. How how yeah. do I pick the prices in the morning? Like, what am I looking at? And then. Thank you. Uh, and then how I go along and change the prices along the day. And maybe yeah. part of that yeah. might be an yeah. ideal confirmation, like the 
Holy Trinity or something that really it's all different, brother. I don't want to okay. say yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. is I don't want to just say hey, it's this can be. and then you guys are just waiting for that. You know what I mean? It's it's combinations. That's the best way I can I can say whatever your deadly combination is, you gotta find out. Me, I have multiple. I like crossing of EMAs, I like breaking, I like zones, I like everybody has different. That's why we got a deep uh, dive. Yeah, squeeze deep. is a good yeah, one squeeze, for you. Too. Squeeze are good, you know, consolidation. That's why we have to dive deep and figure out our trading DNA. You know what I mean? And, you know, for a lot of you guys, I've helped you guys find that. And, you know, we're working yeah. on what we have right now. Control our emotions to, to keep uh, discipline. Oh. Yeah, yeah, 100%, guys. 100%. Yeah, so we, we, we can go over that. We can go over option... Uh, option uh price pick or uh, option how i'm picking the option prices and what i'm looking at in the morning and then we can do uh i don't know send uh put some in, in the zoom link put some suggestions and then i'll pick a couple but one of them will be the options we'll do that and then we can do how about uh, 10 o'clock 10 o'clock or uh how are you guys on monday are you guys busy on Monday or what? What? We'll figure it out. Right. Put some, yeah, put some suggestions in the in the Zoom link, and then by end of day, I'll pick up what time and um, what uh, topics we can we can go over. Try to pick some good topics where we'll be able to spend some time on uh, something. Not something real quick. You know, this trade recap was pretty quick, and uh, you know the lotto breakdown. It's always hard to do a lotto breakdown because the um, the option price is no longer there the next day. So. What I'll do from now on, I'll take some, uh, I'll take some photos of of um, the option block right at uh, nice at, at power. Like for example, this one right here. You see that? This is an example of the price plateauing at twelve oh five. You see that? The price plateaued, and then we had a big spike. This is the option spike price, and this is where we entered at twelve oh seven or whatever, right? So. Something, uh, something I'll go over if you guys don't understand how how that um, how this works or how to read this. This is uh, we'll go over that. We'll do option breakdown, option price, option block, option um, volume, and all that all that good stuff. And like I said in the Zoom Zoom uh, link uh, Discord area, put the suggested times and suggested topics, and then we can we can uh, we can go from there. That's great. Thanks. Sounds good. Thank you. Jeremy, Jeremy. What, yes. What, what are those um, sideway uh, red was... arrow? <laughs> oh, oh, this one. Uh, yeah. That's where I entered at this at, at this oh, time. I see. That's I entered where you marked it. Twelve oh seven. I just didn't want I to see. put it right at the candle. I wanted people to see, but ah, if you see uh twelve oh five, twelve oh six, twelve oh seven, I entered exactly where the price is plateauing, right? I talk about it all the time. And then the big explosion. This is, I think this initial explosion is about 100%. And then uh, pulls back a little bit and then you get that 300 to 500%. And notice that the timestamps, right? Exit exactly at the top. When I start to see the price action of the volume start to pull back. I don't wanna be parked because I know that once it pulls back against this, the price goes back down quickly. You see? Yeah. And so. where do you watch the volume? Uh, oh, right here. Look, I'm trying. I'm gonna show you guys quick, quick, quickly. We'll go. We'll go more over. Right here. Look. This is it. I see. You watch the volume on chart. Yeah. This is so. This is my puts, and these are my calls. And like I said, the price plateaus right here. That's where you want to get in or get out. When the price starts to plateau, you have that nice little explosion of. 100%, 500%, whatever, whatever percent you want to call it, right? <clears throat> but yeah, as uh, as I have my five minute chart here with my basic, basic indicators that I use, uh, the MACD uh, 90 MA 2050, uh, price action and volume. Uh, to, the, to the right is my uh, active trader. This is where I buy my puts and calls. Uh, this is red for puts, and then this is green for calls. I go over to my trade gate. I pick my contracts and I inject them like this. Red for puts, and then 
green for calls and now they're injected here and I can watch the price action and the volume of the contracts and this more or less with the deadly combination of this over here and this and all the other guys uh, Dima, Rob, Alex, everybody all the deadly combinations added together and then that's when I make my price I don't know if that makes sense that makes sense, yeah, thanks yeah, it's thanks, coming Jeremy. together Yeah. Process. thanks Nice, nice. Cool, cool. Yeah, hopefully we can, uh, uh, we see some, uh, maybe we'll pull up the futures chart too, see if we can get some movement on there. I haven't, I haven't went into top step and I've been getting alerts from them telling me the trade. So maybe we can, we, I don't know if futures is going to be open tomorrow. I mean, Monday, is it? No, probably not. Because it's not a national yeah. holiday. That's American holiday. So that's why I'm saying yeah. Forex. Yeah, futures okay. should be open if it's, um, None, yeah, it's, 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 if it's, it's just it's, national, yeah. okay, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. we'll do it, we'll do it. Wow. Um, like I said, put this in the Zoom link, put the suggestions, um, what you guys are wanting to um go over, like we'll go over option price and all that, uh, whatever else, and then uh, put the time suggested that everyone's gonna will be a good free time, but uh, yeah, that's it from me, guys. I don't know if you guys have anything else you want to touch on before, uh. I close out here. Is there anything else before I make the closing statement? That's it for me. Yeah, you. we can. Uh, yeah, we can continue on Monday and Monday. figure it out. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. So you guys already know the routine. Um, stay away from the charts. Um, you know we have all of Monday to concentrate on the charts. Um, I, I need you guys to take these next few days to kind of um, absorb and understand what's been going on this year. Um, take take a step back and kind of dis digest your momentum and what we've been doing um, and uh, kind of continue to look at those goals that we made at the beginning of the year. Look at those and refresh your refresh yourself and uh, look at yourself and see where you were at from when you made those goals and how much you've improved or how much you've pulled back. Um, I need you guys to go relax and, uh, um, you know, Spend some time with loved ones, uh, go out to eat, go do something. You know what I mean? Stay away from the charts. Uh, if you have to do something with the with the stock market, um, yeah, everybody was green. We had a beautiful week, bro. Everybody yeah. was green. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had, uh, I don't like to put it out there, but uh, I did 1,800% uh, on my portfolio so far. <clears throat> 1800 percent 1800 percent nice nice awesome. yeah. yeah but that's yeah. besides that's besides the point yeah our whole team is... so that's good. yeah it's uh, about motivation beautiful beautiful good shit brother good shit I, 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 uh not you uh alex but the guy that was uh the guy that was uh typing he said he had a, had a great week last week too so that's that's beautiful awesome. um yeah. yeah back to the yeah I spent, I take this time to Step away from the charts, please. We need that. We need a break. We need uh, we need to save our mental capital for the week ahead. We're gonna have a, a short week, so I'll go more into detail about that when uh, when we come together on Monday. But uh, just kind of take this time to relax, guys. Uh, relax. Um, you know, uh, go do something. You know, maybe spend some money. I I don't know. Um, go out to eat. Uh, go buy something. Uh, Go fishing. I would go fishing, but it's too cold. I want to go ride my bike. It's too cold. So I'm probably going to play some video games with my son. I don't know. But, um, yeah, do do something. Enjoy you guys' oh. family. Take the time. Uh, like I it's said, really digest digest what, what, what's what been going on so far. And uh, we'll catch up on Monday, guys. I will uh, post in, uh, keep posted on the Discord. I will post some times, like I said, by end of the night of what we'll, we'll be doing on Monday. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Jeremy. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Peace. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Have a good